Before we start actually using Access today, I'd like to take a few minutes to go over some basic database terminology. First, what is a database? Essentially, a computer database is a program that lets you store, manage, and manipulate data. That's really all a database does. It stores data, names and addresses, for example. It lets you manage that data and manipulate the data. Some examples of databases, Microsoft Access, of course, is a database program. Another database made by Microsoft is called SQL Server. But you can also consider things like your customer list stored in Excel as a basic database, or even a card catalog in a library, or even your phone book. These are all examples of databases. There are tools, whether software or paper, that allow you to store data and work with that data. Database components. Now, Microsoft Access specifically has seven different major database components. Tables, queries, forms, reports, pages, macros, and modules. Now, the first four we're going to work with today, tables, queries, forms, and reports. And we'll talk more about them in just a minute. The other three, pages, macros, and modules, are a little more advanced, and we're going to save those for a future class. Tables allow us to store data. All the data in our Microsoft Access databases will be stored in one or more tables. If you are familiar with Excel, you can kind of think of a table as a spreadsheet. But tables are much more powerful because you can define the types of information that goes into the tables. Now, tables by themselves don't really do much. So we can use queries to allow us to view data in different ways. For example, if we have 500,000 customer records in our customer table, we may only want to see the customers from New York who have made purchases in the last 30 days. We can build a query to show us that information. Now, tables and queries are powerful, but they're not very easy to use or very user-friendly. So that's where forms come in. Forms allow us to build a user-friendly interface for our users. If you have other people who are going to be using your database, you can build forms to show them just the information that they need to be able to work with. Forms also add a whole level of complexity to our database that allows us to create command buttons and drop down menus and all kinds of nifty tools. And we'll see how some of those work today. And finally, reports allow us to format data to be printed. And in today's class, we're going to build a report that will generate mailing labels for us. And again, there are some other components in Microsoft Access databases. There are data access pages, which allow us to take data and put it on the web. Macros, which allow us to automate repetitive tasks. And modules, which contain the full power of the Visual Basic programming language. Again, these components are beyond the scope of today's class, but we will cover them in future classes.